Good morning, everyone. I uh, left uh, Felel Olori Shogo area of Ibadan this morning at 7:15, and this is exactly 8:15, and I am in Lagos. And I found out one thing: over a distance of 80 kilometers, I didn't see one checkpoint, one police checkpoint. I did not see. I did not see an army checkpoint. Have you ever applied the Onisha Enugu Express Road? Did you ever count the number of police checkpoints or military checkpoints on Enugu Onisha Road? I'm still on the road. This is Lagos. Have you ever counted? Why is the Southeast so militarized? So policed? that you cannot go for more than 200 meters without a police checkpoint. I need to ask this question because the delay in journeys and the humiliation people go through needs to be pointed out. I'm saying a distance, same distance from Enugu to Onitsha. Can we pass through Amobi and so on? The boundary between, between Enugu and um, uh, Anambra, the number of police checkpoints, collection points, the military. So they humiliate our people so badly that most times everybody in the vehicle is asked to come down and hands up. Tell me now, and I'll believe it. Is this hatred? Is this dislike? This is not good. Let us understand, is the Southeast State part of Nigeria? Enwarozi leaders who can speak and make representations on behalf of Ndibo in Abuja and thereabout. Have you seen the state of roads, federal roads? The, 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 uh, this Lagos about Express Road is a federal road. So also is Enugu Onisha Road. Portacourt over the road. Have you seen the state? There's no single portal from Felele in Iba, in uh, in Iba, uh, 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 your state to Lagos. No single portal. Have you applied the roads I've just mentioned in the, between Enugu, Onisha, and so on? Leaving the head bridge and so on. These are federal roads. Clarify me. What have we done? This is bad news. I am calling on leaders to make representations. The delay on these roads is not good for business, it's not good for our place, and the level of policing, please, I beg you, demilitarize the Southeast. The police, these places have called. The humiliation, the extortion is getting out of hand. God bless you. Travel from Ibo State to Anambra along Onecha or where Express Road. I noticed something. In every checkpoint, army checkpoint and police checkpoint, they stop every vehicle, allow private cars to pass. Why all the commercial vehicles, they will discharge all the whole passengers. The passengers will trek to cross army checkpoint or police checkpoint, then they convert again board their buses or with their vehicle and continue with their journey. Now, I passed the first one, I saw this. Passed the second one, I saw this. I passed the third one, I saw the second one, I started asking questions. They told me, ah, it's normal, that is how they do it. I kept wondering, why must they subject our people to this kind of suffer? Our old men and women, our traditional rulers, no respect, no regard for elders. Once you're in a commercial vehicle, you must drop. Use lead to pass army or police checkpoint. Then enter your vehicle again. This is pure madness. I thought this has stopped. I now travel to Enugu. From Enugu to Owere. I saw this happen again, which means it's now a tradition. The other one I also witnessed was a young man being punished severely, being flogged, beaten mercilessly. His offense was that he answered call close to army checkpoint. And I, I, I was like, 
we are in Nigerian constitution, it says that nobody should receive or make call in any checkpoint. I don't understand the kind of uh, country we are running. Now I come back from anywhere. I said maybe Nigeria now have a different, uh, a new law. I travel to Castena. I flew from Abuja to Kano. Now from Kano to Castena on, on the road. Every checkpoint was peaceful. The travelers passed army checkpoint, police checkpoint, although it was very few of them. Now they passed inside their vehicle. And now I was like, why would they drop? And then cross army checkpoint and enter their vehicle again. They told me no, that they don't do like that here. So I kept asking, do we have one country, two system, or are we in two different countries? I'm not the tribal type, neither the sentimental type, but what is good for the gift is good for the ganga. You don't treat some people this way like animals. If you need to see how they have subjected our people, what they have subjected them to, it's so bad. They are Nigerians. They have not committed anything being Nigerians. And I'm using this opportunity to call the governors of Southeast, who are the chief security officers of their states, to call their GOCs to order. These guys are doing as in they are treating people like animals. A journey of one hour, they will make it to be four or five hours for commuters. Am I talking about the, 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 the bribe, the money they are collecting? Am I talking about that one, which is a, a tradition already? They don't even have it, shamelessly collecting it, as if it's their right. In tsunami checkpoints, they will even put one boy carrying pure water or one dead or the other, pretending to be selling it, but they are collecting money from the, from the drivers, by force. What are we talking about? Please, governors of Southeast, call all your GOCs to order to stop this rubbish. Our people are suffering. Our people are suffering. Please, I'm also calling on all the bloggers. If you see this message, throw it, pass this message so that it will get to the whole governors to call these people to order. The whole police and the army to stop this. Uh, an Okada man will get to police checkpoint, army checkpoint. He will carry his Okada pass first and then start the bike again. What a nation. Somebody died, then they will not work it. Before they will repair it. Look at it. Because of bad roads.